Hi everyone, I'm Andrew from Kite Army. It's summertime and what that means is one thing, a brown lawn at my house. Well, I've got the solution to fix that. The reason why I have a brown lawn is because I have this antique mounted on my wall here. Basically to turn this thing, this thing's got a lot of controls and you can do a lot of things with it, but it takes a PhD in programming. So there's a solution for, to that. Here's the Rachio Wi-Fi connected sprinkler system controller. I'm gonna install that today and I'm gonna configure it and then I'm gonna do a follow-up on how well it's worked for me. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you get started is, of course, unplug the power supply. Next thing you wanna take off this cover right here or something that looks a lot like that. You can see here's my wires that actually go to my valves in my sprinkler system. This white wire is probably the ground. There it is right there. Now that I've got everything disconnected, I can pull out the wire that connects to my sprinkler head valves right there. And then I get to pull this off the wall, which has been a long time coming. Here's one of my screws and I'm gonna bet that I can do that. Good riddance world. See at the recycle center. All right, now it's time to install my Rachio base. You'll see my old system was up here, and I'm just a little worried that my wire leads won't be long enough to connect to that. So I'm gonna move it down a little lower. What you have to do is you have to feed this through the bottom here, like so. And my gauge wire is a little heavy, so it's really taking some effort uh, to get it in there. But with enough persistence, you'll get the job done. There we go, like so. As I said, I'm gonna move it a little lower. The interface right here is on the top. That's where you need to keep it. Let me see if I can hit a stud here. No problem. I wanna show you really quickly some of the electrical connections you might have to make to your Rachio. First of all, there's eight greens over here. Each one of those greens is a zone. There's a common right here and you have a blue, which is a master pump controller. I didn't have that connection. You might not either. The two yellows here are for sensors, like a rain sensor, and you have another common white here. As I said before, my gauge wire is really thick. You can see when they came off the old controller, they were kind of curved like this. So all I did to fix that was I took a pair of needle nose pliers and straightened them out. They're gonna be a little longer than I want here, but I'll show you how these work. They kind of go in on a 90 degree angle and they just push in like that. That's the common to the white. If I wanna release it, you just get a flathead screwdriver and push it in. Now I can install the master controller, which just should go nicely on top of that. And then you can plug in, plug it in there, you can plug the unit in. So it's just starting up right now. I'll have to program the Wi-Fi. I'll do that in the next step. Now that I've done the basic configuration, I need to set the Rachio to be on the network. The way you do that is by using this tool called Blink. Let me show you how to do that. You get to connect screen. It'll say preparing to Blink update device. Make sure your Wi-Fi light is blinking. Hold your phone on top of the sensor. And if all goes well, that light should change colors. And there it goes. It just went to green. It's trying to connect now. And I think that's good news, all green. I can tell you the first time I tried this, I tried it on a network that was five gigahertz and it did not work. They don't tell you that in the uh, setup. You wanna to connect to a 2.4 gigahertz network. That's a thumbs up because that's all green. During the configuration of each zone, it asks you what exactly is growing there. I'm selecting warm season grass. It will ask you what kind of soil you have. Of course, I'm not an expert in soil, so that's interesting, but I'm gonna go sandy loam. And what kind of sun exposure does it have? Some shade. What is the primary nose type for this zone? 
I have a rotary head in there. How much slope does this zone have? Slight. And that's a configuration for each zone. You go through each one, you name it, and you follow those steps. So I just finished installing my Rachio sprinkler controller system, and I have the app installed on my phone right here. I can manually override the system and start my sprinkler system up. I'll show you how to do that. You push play here on the main controller. You select the zone that you want to start up. I'm going to start up my backyard and I'm going to hit start. And in about five seconds, that zone will turn on. It's that easy. And to stop the zone, you hit stop and that's it. Otherwise, it's set up already on a schedule and that schedule should take over for me, adjusting for weather conditions and the type of soils I have. So far, so good. It was really simple. It looks very cool. And I think it's going to save me some money. And hopefully, I'll have a nice lush green lawn at the end of all this. That's it for now. My name's Andrew. I'm from Kite Army. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you around real soon.